grateful just to simply be here. I, I never like to take anything for granted, personally. I'm grateful for my family. They've always had my back, always been supporting members of my friends too. They've always been around me and took care of me when I needed. My name is Hendrik Emler. I'm from Hollidaysburg, Pennsylvania. Hollidaysburg is in central Pennsylvania, so right almost smack dab in the middle, uh, about 20 minutes away from Altoona. My name is David Witt. I'm from Buffalo, New York. I'm from a little town called West Seneca. It's just outside city limits. It's a nice little suburb, you know, kind of old school suburb, not development, a lot of old houses. Hollidaysburg is best known for being the hometown of the Slinky Toy. That's where it was created. I got accepted to Penn State, I was super excited. It was on the senior night for my senior football season. I found out that night, super excited. Got to put in for senior night when they were doing like reading our names off that I was going to Penn State. And I really was super excited, overwhelmed, and just happy that I got into such a prestigious school. My reaction to being accepted to Penn State is actually pretty funny. I had just got done performing at a high school football game. I was a part of the marching band. And afterwards, I went out to Sheets with some friends. My parents texted me and said, you need to come home right now. I was like, this is weird, okay. So drove back home and my, my parents had been waiting because my uh, my acceptance had, package had come in that I'd been accepted to Penn State Barron. And I was you know, really excited, really happy, but it was also one in the morning, so. Uh, kind of delayed reactions and next day was was really great. Took some pictures and sent it to family. It just was the right choice for me. I went to, I came to campus, walked around, and I loved it. Fell in love the first time I was here and been here since. I could just already tell that this was the type of environment that I was looking for. I was looking for small class settings and close communities and that's exactly what I what I saw in Penn State Barron whenever I came to visit. And it's exactly what I've gotten uh, being here for three years now. Five years from now, hopefully I'm working out west in a big tech company, looking to start a family of my own, have my own little David running around. I see myself starting life outside of, of college. Uh, in five years, I'll be graduated and we'll be looking for hopefully the job, maybe that I won't have for the rest of my life, but something stable to, to get myself started. Uh, living in an apartment someplace, figuring out what I wanna do for the rest of my life, or figuring out how to live the rest of my life. Would my younger self be proud of me? I'd say that my younger self would be pretty amazed by all the things that uh, I've been able to do throughout my lifetime. All my experiences, all the friends that I've created. Uh, I think that he would definitely be proud of me, but also, uh, would also you know, kind of tell me the things that I did do wrong uh, in explaining my life to him. Would my younger self be proud of me? Um, I'd say yeah, I got through high school, going to a prestigious school, going for something difficult. I'm not taking the easy way out of school and I'm just doing my best to keep on grinding. And my younger self would definitely be proud of myself having the friends I have around me. I'd say to my younger self, that you need to get out there more and not be so afraid to, to try new things and just really put yourself out there. If you don't put yourself out there, nobody's gonna know what you can really do uh, and that's going to hurt you in the long run because you learn from your mistakes and so it's okay to make those mistakes and, and put yourself out there. So yeah, that's what I'd say.